Chad Alt here and welcome to another Chatty Draws, guys. Welcome to Chatty Draws. We are back. I promised more Chatty Draws ages ago and we're back. And with some speed drawing goodness. Well, I say speed drawing, it'll be speedy for you. It won't be for me. Anyway, uh, so this is a special vlog for those who don't know. We've never seen Chatty Draws before. It's a special little series that I do uh, for drawing like special paintings and just anything to do with art, anything that's arty comes here. So if you like that, go and watch the playlist. Anyway, um, in this Chatty Draws, we've got a special one. I had a special request from my loving of a half, my amazing burb support, the Madling. I love you, Madling. Uh, he wanted a special painting of space, but not just any space painting, not any, just not any space scene not like a galaxy of any particular he wanted a pacific ship he wanted a spacex painting but not just any spacex painting he wanted the star line that just looked well we'll say they're still testing it now and um he he loves spacex he keeps up to like up to date with spacex and all their rocket launches which i don't blame him it's pretty damn cool. The Falcon 9 twin, like, return and landing was really cool. I watched that. I thought that was amazing. And he wants a painting of it. But not just that, there's more. <laughs> he wants it of it starting to take off in the morning like it did. And that's what he wanted. Challenge accepted, Madling. And instead, I, don't, I think I took him by surprise because, like I said, I did this. Uh, as we speak now, it's done. But I will go over everything and what I used and things like that. But um, I'm yammering on. Without further ado, let's do this painting, shall we? Uh, time to go to the past. Let's go! So the medium I'm just using here is just some normal, like, art grade watercolour paper. It's on an A3 pad, and the pencil I'm using is just your bog standard HB pencil. And I had an idea in my head that I wanted the the rocket to be straight on, because then it is the main focal point of the painting uh, that I wanted to do. I also wanted to do the style that I I like to do, which is kind of like poster pop arty. Um, I didn't want the rocket to be too um like too realistic but enough that it could be recognized by most people who are into the spacex scene uh, matling wanted like it to be in sunrise and i thought well i could do a beautiful sunrise in the background but it's going to overshadow the rocket that's in front of that so I decided to instead have like a partially partial sunrise uh, with like the light coming off the rocket and um, with the logo underneath to match. guys future chatty back again so we've done the drawing part of it and i've probably partially explained my thought process about it uh now we need to go to stage two which is the coloring stage which is where we get our nice shading our nice bright colors and uh, for this i usually use watercolor and uh, this probably took a while this i think believe this took like an hour or so so let's uh, speed things up and get on to that shall we so with the coloring uh with the watercolor um this is what i use most of the time is just plain old beautiful watercolor because you can do so much uh color tone with watercolor you can make it as bright as you want or you can make it as dim as you want you can get so many color contrasts with just watercolor and um i'm just using uh, a flat square paintbrush to get the bulk of the paint on there um, for the bottom I'm using uh, oranges and yellows for that contrast between 
the bottom of the painting which is all orange yellows and like a whitey kind of cream for the actual blast the what well, the the rocket um the, the exhaust um from the rocket and uh to give a good contrast to the blue the light blue and slightly dark blue sky as well as the white coming off the sun which you can just about see behind the silver of the rocket um as well as the red struts which i am just about to put in as well um also to define the like I say the background as well putting the brown in uh just to make it like in in the background so it doesn't take too much attention away from um the star rocket itself um the letters as well will be a beautiful white for them to stand out i looked at several different versions of the spacex logo because there are different colors and i thought the white with the silver cross against the the x was the most suitable it would stand out but wouldn't be too much um, to take away from the rock itself. I'm back again to explain stage three and the final and the last and the most important stage of the painting process for me personally, which is the lining. We use biro. So lining is very important because you get your nice shapes, you get your nice like stunning lines as well as getting your shading and all your textures in as well. Now, I believe this took over like nearly two hours to do. So I'm gonna, like I said, speed things up for you. And uh, I will probably do a little bit of talking in between and uh, we will see you at the end. So with the lining part, this is where the most detail and the most time is taken in regards to the painting indeed this took about two hours to do and with the painting uh, and the lining of the rocket i was trying to i'm just using a normal black biro pen this is my favorite art supply it can get a bit messy but if you have already done your lining you don't have to worry about like i said rubbing out or things like that this just makes the art piece pop and like i said you can do don't have to press down hard you can use this for cross shading you can use this to really add depth to your painting and your piece of work could not recommend biro drawing enough it's so satisfying to see something come to life after you've painted it and as you can see it's just starting to pop off the paper as i keep adding layer after layer after layer and as you can see i keep coming back to different parts of it as well so i put down my first layer of lining and then i thicken it up and i thicken it up in different places and that also adds depth to the the actual painting uh, with this one i wanted to add some like say more depth to the explosive part of the painting near the bottom as well as the logo and um I wanted to add some shading to one side of the rocket as well to make it feel like it's three dimensional as to, to pop off the painting uh, as if it is three dimensional. Uh, the sun, I wanted to add some bits to the background uh, of the sky but not too much that it was going to be bold because I didn't want um, it to be too bold. 
otherwise it'd be taken away from the rest of the painting. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do as well, because I thought the black nines weren't enough um, for the bottom of the painting, I decided to break out a new uh, member of my art supply kit, which is a uh, white acrylic marker. And these are a bit on the expensive side, but I love using them. I've used them in a couple of different things now with 3D printing, as well as this is the first painting I used it in. And it just adds that extra layer uh, to the explosive it just highlights it uh, enough to m to make it stand out better and i'm glad i used it i was a bit hesitant at first but i'm glad i used it and i just keep coming in as well as uh the only problem is um with biro is i do get through a lot of them as you've probably seen me just change pen and yeah the, the best advice i can give for this technique is to just keep trying and just play around with your own art style with this I love this. Some people absolutely positively hate Biro, but I absolutely love it. It's just part of my style now. And it's so easy and simple to do. And all I'm doing now is just literally feeling where the painting needs it and needs that extra uh, lining and edge to give it more depth. And uh, that's how I finished off uh, this beautiful uh, SpaceX painting for my other half. I'm back! Right, finished results, guys. Uh, ta -da. Can't really see it, but it's it's beautiful. I love it. This took a total of three hours or so in total to do from start to finish. I love this. The colours are great. I have shown Matling and he loves this as well and it came out really nicely i didn't know whether i was going to be able to pull this off in like this sort of poster-esque like style i will take full pictures for you to see you've probably already seen it through the speed draw but this painting is amazing and i am going to frame this now i am thinking of doing more of these and i will take requests as well as also eventually going to do prints of these so if there's any that you like you can go and get them fingers crossed anyway so if you've got any suggestions put them in the comments down below i will take suggestions of what you would like me to do next on chatty drawers and it could be anything obviously as long as it's safe for work don't start uh so you could do you could ask me to do pokemon stuff you could ask me to do like the alien franchise or you could ask me like oh i really like this specific 
like Pokemon or this, I like Animal Crossing or the new Zelda. Like, you, can you do me a bit of a painting of the landscape of the new Zelda game and things like that? Like, those are just some ideas that popped into my head. But if you want to see more than this, then please let me know because I do love doing these. They just take a very long time to do. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's Chally Draws and uh, you want to see more of this and also how I actually draw things, then uh, please like, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you guys know exactly when I'm uploading. As for when I am streaming, come follow me at twitch.tv slash chatot. Hit the heart and you know exactly when I'm streaming. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go and chill out now after doing this really long painting and I will see you in the next uh, uh, episode. But remember guys, chat up!